Let's continue with question 3. The universal set U is equal to B, D, E, F, G, I, K, S, T, V, W. The Venn diagram below shows U and three sets M, P, and R, which are subsets of U. So M, P, and R. Now we say we should state the value of number of elements in P union R. You know, the elements of P are P as elements V or B D E F V S Then R also has element I also has element D E D E D E F then I G So P union R P union R is equal to B in I is equal to we have B D B D E F V F I then we have V F I G then we have V then we have S so the number of elements over here is one two three four five six seven eight so this is equal to eight can also calculate this using the formula number of that's the cardinality of P union R is equal to number of elements in P then plus number of elements in R minus number of elements in P intersection R. So the number of elements here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will give us 6. Then number of elements in R are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then minus the number of elements in one, two, three. So this will give us eight. You could have used that approach as simple as that. You can also use the listing method. You list 
Find P union R, then count the number of elements. Now, we are supposed to list the members of P, M intersection P. M intersection P. So this is as simple as A, B, C, and the members are B, M intersection P. So M intersection P is B and D. Now, M, M union, M union R prime. So, when we take R prime, we take R, R prime is all these elements, K, B, V, S, T, W. So, R prime, M union R prime, So let's take M is having so M is having element B D K L. Then R prime is having element. B V S B V B K V S T W. So B K V S T W. So the union of this and this set. The union of these two sets will be equal to B B K B D K is it L or I? So it's I rather I not L so this is I because we don't have L here so I then B D K I then we have V then we have S then we have T then we have W So this is M in your R prime. So now let's proceed with the B part using a ruler and a pencil. Using a ruler, a pencil, and a pair of compasses, construct triangle PQR with PQ 8 centimeters. Angle PQR 120 degrees and QR 5 centimeters. Now, if you want to construct, anytime you are given something like this, you need to sketch, make a rough sketch so that you can visualize whatever you are doing. So you can label it anyhow P, Q. R. Now, they said PQ is a centimeters, so this is a centimeters. Then we have angle PQR, PQR. This angle is one twenty degrees.
so and we have QR so this length is 5 centimeters Now, with this, you can determine which line to draw first as your baseline. Because we have the included angle over here. So, side, angle, side. So, what we do is, it is very advisable to draw the longer side. If you have the side, angle, side first, to draw the longer side. So, let's do that. So, this is our baseline. PQ 8 centimeters. So now you take your compass, stand at P and open to a reasonable radius and draw an arc. Now maintain the same radius and cut twice. So the second cut will be over here if you do it correctly then we've gotten this line therefore the only possible line we can draw next is this one RQ so we know that it passes through this intersection and we know the length so we draw a straight line through this point and this point P this point Q over here so get something like this now you measure five centimeters on your row with a compass stand here and cut over here now it means the line has to extend to this position over here now it means we can connect p to this point over here wherever it will intersect with this line then you get something like this So we have managed to construct triangle PQR. Now, the second aspect says measure and state the length of the side PR. So if you do it correctly, you should get 11.36 centimeters. 11.36. So plus or minus. 0.01 plus or minus 0.01 centimeters. Now, on your diagram in B, construct the point S such that PQRS form a parallelogram. So we know that the parallelogram. So P Q R. So the S will be somewhere over here. Now we know this side is parallel to this side. So you take your compass and open to this length. Then you draw an arc like this. Then maintain the same radius and move to another point on this line again and draw another arc. So a straight line that is tangential to these two acts is parallel to this line so we draw a straight line that touches these two acts so now we know that this length will be equal to this length over here which is five centimeters so that is the property of a parallelogram so you use it in the construction so now we stand here and measure 5 or measure this distance come and stand here draw another arc over here to get something like this now we can draw we can connect these two points to complete our parallelogram and this is how our parallelogram will look like don't forget to subscribe and keep coming for more